Welcome to another edition of Digital Marketing 101. I'm Solomon Timothy. Today's question is, does it make sense to invest time and energy trying to contact unresponsive leads? We all have unresponsive leads. We call them dormant contacts. Does it make sense to spend time and energy trying to get them back to our funnel so that we can close them? This is a great question. Let's dive in. Let's talk about how do you get these unresponsive leads? Typically, when you're qualifying a lead, you're qualifying them for budget, qualifying them for need, maybe timeline, you're really making sure, does this client or prospect fit my criteria in making sure this is gonna be a, a legitimate opportunity for my organization? If it's not the right time or if it's not the right budget, the leads just sort of disappear. In fact, timing has a lot more and just the budget, right? If, the, if it's the wrong time, it doesn't matter if they can afford it or can't afford it, they're gonna be dormant leads. The way that a lot of companies have dormant contacts is by maybe doing a partnership deal or you went to a trade show and you generate hundreds of contacts or you just scan badges. Those people are necessarily in the market or even qualified to work with you. You're gonna have some issues if you're just dumping contacts into your marketing database and thinking that they're all leads. Instead, what you wanna really make sure is that you understand, are they the right fit? Can they even afford your product? Or are they even the right kind of companies? And having a list that is much more reasonable, you could work on creating engagement campaign, right? So if you remember, every single time I make one of these videos, I have a funnel. You wanna make sure that you're taking these contacts and giving them some sort of a top of funnel offer. Getting them back into your funnel, consume some content. Maybe they're gonna show up to a webinar or they're going to download some new resource that you just made available or you just published a new blog post that's evergreen content that is re relatable to this type of a customer. Having a content strategy, having some sort of a top of funnel offer is the way to re-engage them. Now you could do this completely at scale. You're not gonna pick up the phone and call every single person that went to a trade show a year ago. But what you wanna do is create automation that are gonna be working in the background and trying to engage the people. You can also upload that list and maybe run ads against them, right? Custom audience. There are so many things that you can do to get those buyers back into your funnel. There are a lot of instances where that person whoever that title that you're trying to sell to is unresponsive general. There are a lot of cases where that one person that you're trying to contact or they fill out the form is unresponsive, but it doesn't mean that the company that you're trying to sell into is unqualified to work with you. There is the contact level and there's also the company level. So make sure you understand that if the company is still a qualified company to work with, you should still continue to work on nurturing that relationship and getting them back into your funnel. So most of the time, what happens is companies just forget about the contact. They sort of see that they're not engaged. They're sort of looking for new leads every day, every month, every year. They're just going after new leads, new leads, new leads. That's great, but I believe that you should invest equal amount of time in engaging in some conversations with existing leads that you have in the pipeline. Why? Because if the timing isn't correct, they're not going to contact you. But when you can consistently try to put new offers in front of them, they will start re-engaging with you and then go down that funnel and do a booked appointment and eventually become a paid customer. Should you invest time? Absolutely. Should you automate it? I would automate it all day. I would say it's more about automating this sort of process. So what happens when the lead is unresponsive? It's 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. Put them on some sort of a long-term nurture so that they're starting to get drip campaigns and build that campaign up long-term. If that email's bouncing back, chances are that person has left the organization and you can just delete that and move on. But if you can consistently nurture them, there will be a time where your product offering is relevant to them and they do have the budget. If they're a qualified company, they will have budget to work with you and so that you can close them. But giving up on them too early, it's probably a mistake. And we say this in sales, the gold is in the follow-up. Most salespeople understand following up and following up and following up is how you generate sales. But most marketing people are like unresponsive, ignore, move on with your life. Unfortunately, I believe that the gold is still in the follow-up even for marketing, right? So as marketers, we should be investing as much time and energy creating value to people 
of different niches, industries, job titles that is gonna get them back, right? Maybe they don't like offer A, but if you create something absolutely extremely relevant to that job title or their industry or the type of problems that they might be facing, chances are they're gonna be curious, they're gonna to wanna to click on that and wanna download a resource that you just made available or watch a video, whatever that might be. At the end of the day, as a marketer, our job is to consistently try to get more and more people back into our funnel, even if they were a year old contact and not just throw it away, all right? You can do that at scale, you can do that through marketing automation. This is what we do here at 1MS every single day. We figure out how to engage the hot leads and get them to close faster. Also, what do we do with dormant contacts or unresponsive leads? How do we work on re-engaging them and running campaigns to re-engage old leads, past customers, even customers that left, whatever that might be. You wanna make sure that you have a strategy, not just for new leads, but also on retaining your existing customers and even recouping some of the lost customers and getting them back into your organization. All right, so if you have more questions on that, talk to one of our consultants. We have over 100 consultants here at one MS that can help you figure out a solution to this problem with hundreds and hundreds of leads piling up and no real engagement strategy. We see this all the time. I hope you got some value out of this video. If you like this content, click that like button, consider subscribing, leave me a comment and tell me what your strategy is when it comes to dormant contacts or unresponsive leads. So many different companies do different things. I'd love to have a follow-up. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.